What we were taught in school about the human migration process into North America has been definitively debunked. In fact, our textbooks currently state that humans crossed a frozen land bridge from Russia just shy of 15,000 years ago. However, the evidence I'm about to share with you in this presentation conclusively debunks that. Now, it was recently announced that Mastodon bones found in San Diego, California, dating back 130,000 years, show definitive evidence of human tool marks. Now, let me first address the issue of dating. How do they know it's 130,000 years old? While utilizing advanced methods of dating, they've been able to measure the amount of uranium depletement and decay within these bones that turn into thorium. And what's surprising is that throughout mainstream science, they agree that yes, okay, these bones are in fact 130,000 years old. Which of course I was thrilled to hear because usually I disagree with much of what mainstream science has to say when it comes to the age of ancient human civilization and other things. So it's very interesting to see that there is a consensus on that yes, these bones are 130,000 years old. Now what makes this site even more interesting is that they found seven rounded stone hammers that have also been known to have been used to break up bones and willy mammoths and mastodons by early hunters and gatherers in North America. Now when these methods have been tested by researchers and paleontologists, they have utilized fresh remains of elephant femurs and other various bones of an elephant and broken them up with the various stone hammers found at these other sites. And they have found consistencies among these seven stone hammers found at the mastodon site and that they have scratch marks on them completely consistent with the other scratch marks they have found on their own tests by utilizing stone hammers. Furthermore, they also identified that the stone hammers that caused fractures and splintering of the various bones of mastodons, woolly mammoths, and elephants are completely identical to one another. In fact, many people were involved in this study and have completely agreed that yes, these are actual definitive marks of human tooling. Now the big obstacle now among mainstream scientists is that they say, well, hold on, maybe this wasn't humans. Maybe this was, you know, Neanderthals or something else. Which I find to be incredibly hypocritical, considering the lack of evidence of that. I mean, they're just suggesting something that they don't have any proof of. And, uh, you know, out of all the things I've researched, it seems to me that mainstream science completely shuns arguments that involve speculation, right? So they agree that the skeleton remains of this mastodon is 130,000 years old. They agree that it has definitive evidence of human tooling that far exceeds the possibility of just being crushed under natural circumstances. Yet although some mainstream scientists are convinced that this is evidence of human tooling, some will argue that, well, there's not enough evidence yet to suggest that humans were actually in North America 130,000 years ago. However, they seem to be completely ignoring all the recent evidence that has accumulated in recent years involving connections between ancient Egyptians and the Incans in South America, as well as connections in North America as well. For example, are you aware that they have found aboriginal DNA from Australia in mummies in South America? This is something that has just come out in the last year from studies that were done by Harvard Medical School. But to make things even more confusing, they have found ancient remains in North American Indians that have Middle Eastern DNA. That's pretty incredible. And the evidence goes even further than that. They have actually found traces of nicotine and cocaine in mummies found in ancient Egypt which is completely unexplainable considering that cocaine and nicotine originates from plants from Mesoamerica and South America. How in the world did ancient Egyptians have this in their bloodstreams then? But it doesn't even end there. In fact, let me show you some slides that I've had in other videos related to this topic of the connections between the ancients among various continents around the world. Whether it's the incredible similarities between pyramids found in South America, Central America, Egypt, Asia, or whether it comes from the incredible similarities between the stone cuttings found in Egypt, Italy, Turkey, Peru, or even the use of trapezoidal doors, or the use of gold funeral masks, or the depiction of the third eye, or even animals depicted on the forehead. Those are just a few examples of the connections between ancient cultures that span across multiple continents around the world. And it's pretty incredible. I mean, can you honestly say that this is all just a coincidence? And with the recent evidence of 130,000 year old Mastodon bones with human tooling, you have to start asking some real questions. Now many people will say, well wait a second, if they were able to travel between the continents, where's the evidence? Where's the, where's the boats? Now let me give you the example of the Titanic, and I've used this in other presentations as well. Which is that you had 50,000 tons of steel and iron that have been under the ocean for 105 years, and more than 50% of it is completely disintegrated. Or even if you find, you know, cars or houses that are outside, untouched by humans for decades and just left in the elements, 
the roofs will cave in, the rust inside and out, and within a matter of just a few hundred years, it will be as if they were completely non-existent altogether. So even if the ancients had, say, wood boats, do you really think there would be anything left of it after tens of thousands of years? Now, I do have other videos that discuss the cataclysm, that there's overwhelming evidence that 13,000 years ago and 11,600 years ago, there were two massive events that were complete reset buttons to human civilization. Definitely check those out. Anyways, guys, it's time that we start asking real questions about the true history of human civilization. And if you start digging into this subject, you will see that we are far older and far more advanced than we were ever taught in school. Anyways, guys, I'll leave it at that. I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I have many more videos to come and a whole wide variety of topics. Take care, everybody.